Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. I'm sure you've heard the news. In today's digital landscape, data is king. Our reliance on technology has grown exponentially, and with it, the sophistication of cyber threats. Vulnerability scanning is no longer a luxury, but a necessity. It's the first line of defense in protecting our digital assets. Think of a castle. We build strong walls and moats to keep invaders out. But what if there's a hidden passage, a weakness in the mortar? Vulnerability scanning is like having guards patrol those walls, constantly searching for weaknesses before someone with malicious intent exploits them. In 2025, the attack surface is wider than ever. The Internet of Things, or IoT, has connected everything from our refrigerators to our cars. Each connection point is a potential entry point for hackers. This makes vulnerability scanning not just important, but critical. We are in an arms race. Cybersecurity professionals and hackers are constantly trying to outmaneuver each other. Staying ahead of the curve requires vigilance, knowledge, and the right tools. Vulnerability scanning in its simplest terms is like a digital checkup. It's a proactive measure to ensure the health and security of your digital environment. It's about identifying weaknesses in our systems and applications before someone else does. This preemptive approach helps in mitigating risks and safeguarding sensitive information. Think of it like this. You wouldn't drive a car without regular maintenance, would you? Regular checkups ensure that your car runs smoothly and safely. Just like a mechanic checks your car for wear and tear, vulnerability scanners probe your networks and systems for flaws. These scanners are designed to detect issues that could potentially be exploited by malicious actors. These flaws could be anything from outdated software to misconfigured settings. Even minor issues can lead to significant security breaches if left unaddressed. Each flaw represents a potential entry point for attackers. Cyber criminals are always on the lookout for vulnerabilities to exploit. There are different types of vulnerability scans, each with its own strengths. Some are designed to scan networks, while others focus on applications or specific devices. Network scans, for example, examine your network devices for open ports and other vulnerabilities. They help in identifying potential entry points that could be exploited. Web application scans focus on finding weaknesses in websites and web applications. These scans are crucial for protecting online assets and ensuring secure user interactions. The goal of vulnerability scanning isn't just to find vulnerabilities, but to understand them. This understanding is key to developing effective remediation strategies. This means identifying the severity of the flaw, its potential impact, and the best way to fix it. Prioritizing vulnerabilities based on their risk level is essential for efficient security management. Think of it as a diagnosis. Just like a doctor diagnoses a patient, a vulnerability scan diagnoses your digital environment. Once you know what's wrong, you can take steps to fix it. Addressing these issues promptly helps in maintaining a secure and resilient digital infrastructure. In the world of cybersecurity, Kaylee Linux is a household name. It's a Debian-based operating system specifically designed for penetration testing and ethical hacking. Think of it as a Swiss army knife for security professionals. Kaylee Linux comes preloaded with a vast array of tools, each designed for a specific purpose. Need to scan a network for open ports? There's a tool for that. Want to test the security of a web application? Kaylee's got you covered. But Kaylee's true power lies in its flexibility and open source nature. It's constantly being updated with new tools and techniques. This makes it an invaluable resource for anyone serious about cybersecurity. However, with great power comes great responsibility. Kaylee Linux is a powerful tool, and it's important to use it ethically and responsibly. Always obtain proper authorization before scanning systems that you don't own. Before you can start scanning for vulnerabilities, you need to set up your Kali Linux environment. Don't worry, it's not as daunting as it sounds. Think of it like preparing your workspace before starting a new project. First, you'll need to download the latest version of Kali Linux from the official website. You can choose to install it on your computer or run it in a virtual machine. A virtual machine is like a computer within your computer, which provides an extra layer of security. Once you have Kali Linux up and running, it's crucial to update the system. This ensures that you have the latest security patches and tools. Think of it like updating your antivirus software. Outdated tools are like blunt knives. They won't be as effective. Finally, familiarize yourself with the Kali Linux interface. It's a command line based operating system, which might seem intimidating at first. But trust me, once you get the hang of it, 
you'll appreciate its power and flexibility. Section 5. Essential Tools for Vulnerability Scanning Now that your Kali Linux environment is ready, let's talk tools. Kali Linux is a powerful platform, but its true strength lies in the tools it offers. Remember that Swiss Army knife analogy? Just like a Swiss Army knife, Kali Linux is packed with versatile tools for different tasks. Kali Linux comes equipped with a whole arsenal of tools for vulnerability scanning. Each tool is designed to perform specific tasks, making your job easier. One of the most popular tools is Nmap, short for Network Mapper. It's widely used by professionals for its efficiency and reliability. As the name suggests, Nmap is used to scan networks for active hosts and open ports. It provides a detailed map of your network's landscape. Think of it as a scout, mapping out the terrain before an expedition. This helps you understand the layout and identify potential entry points. Another essential tool is Nessus, a comprehensive vulnerability scanner. It's known for its thoroughness and accuracy. Nessus goes beyond simply identifying open ports. It delves deeper into your systems, looking for known vulnerabilities in software and configurations. It probes deeper, looking for known vulnerabilities in software and configurations. This makes it an invaluable tool for maintaining security. It's like having a detective examine your systems for weaknesses. Nessus provides detailed reports that help you understand and fix vulnerabilities. For web application scanning, Burp Suite is your go-to tool. It's specifically designed for testing the security of web applications. It's a powerful platform for testing the security of web applications. Burp Suite offers a range of features to identify and exploit vulnerabilities. Think of it as a specialized mechanic for your websites and web apps. It fine-tunes your security settings to ensure everything runs smoothly. These are just a few examples of the many tools available in Kali Linux. Each tool has its unique strengths and applications. As you delve deeper into the world of ethical hacking, you'll discover a vast array of tools, each with its unique capabilities. The more you explore, the more proficient you'll become in using these tools to secure your systems. Section 6. Step-by-step -step Guide to Vulnerability Scanning Let's put theory into practice. Vulnerability scanning is a critical process in identifying and mitigating potential security risks in your systems. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to performing a basic vulnerability scan using Kali Linux, one of the most popular tools in the cybersecurity field. Don't worry, it's like following a recipe, but instead of baking a cake, we're securing a system. Just like in cooking, precision and attention to detail are key. Step 1. Define your scope. This is the foundation of your scanning process. Before you start scanning, it's crucial to define the scope of your assessment. This means understanding what parts of your network or systems you will be examining. What systems are you authorized to scan? What are your objectives? These questions help in setting clear boundaries and goals. This is like setting a destination for your journey. Without a clear destination, you might end up wandering aimlessly. Step 2. Gather information. Once you know your target, gather as much information as possible. This step is crucial for understanding the landscape of your network. This could include IP addresses, domain names, and system architecture. The more detailed your information, the better prepared you'll be. Think of it as reconnaissance, like a detective gathering clues. The more clues you have, the clearer the picture becomes. Step 3. Choose your tools. The right tools can make or break your scanning process. Based on your scope and objectives, select the appropriate tools from Kali Linux. This platform offers a wide range of options. Remember, each tool has its strengths and weaknesses. Some are better suited for specific tasks than others. It's like choosing the right tool for the job. Just as you wouldn't use a spoon to cut vegetables, you need the right cybersecurity tool for each task. Step 4. Execute the scan. This is where the action happens. With your tools in hand, it's time to execute the scan. Follow the instructions carefully to ensure accurate results. This may involve running commands in the terminal, which requires some familiarity with command line interfaces, or using a graphical interface, which can be more user-friendly for beginners. Be patient, some scans can take time. The duration can vary depending on the size and complexity of your network. It's like waiting for a pot to boil. Good things come to those who wait. Patience is key to getting thorough and accurate results. Step five, analyze the results. This is where you interpret the data collected. Once the scan is complete, you'll be presented with a report. This document is your roadmap to understanding the vulnerabilities in your system. This report will list all the vulnerabilities identified, providing a comprehensive overview of potential risks, along with their severity levels. 
This helps prioritize which vulnerabilities need immediate attention. Now it's time to put on your detective hat and analyze the findings. Look for patterns, understand the context, and plan your next steps to mitigate these vulnerabilities. Section 7, Practical Examples and Scenarios. Let's bring this to life with a few practical examples. Imagine you're tasked with assessing the security of a small business network. You fire up Kali Linux and use Nmap to scan the network. Nmap discovers several devices, including a web server running an outdated version of WordPress. You delve deeper using Nessus and discover that this version of WordPress has known vulnerabilities that could allow an attacker to gain control of the server. In another scenario, you're tasked with testing the security of a new web application. You utilize Burp Suite to intercept traffic between your browser and the application. You discover a vulnerability that allows you to bypass authentication and access sensitive data. These examples illustrate how vulnerability scanning can uncover critical weaknesses in systems and applications. By identifying these vulnerabilities early on, you can prevent attackers from exploiting them. Section 8, Troubleshooting and Common Challenges Vulnerability scanning isn't always a walk in the park. You're bound to encounter challenges along the way. But fear not, every challenge is an opportunity to learn and grow. One common challenge is false positives. These are vulnerabilities that are flagged by the scanner but aren't actually vulnerabilities. Think of it like a fire alarm going off when you burn toast. It's important to investigate each finding to determine its legitimacy. Another challenge is staying up to date. The threat landscape is constantly evolving with new vulnerabilities discovered every day. It's crucial to keep your tools and knowledge current to stay ahead of the curve. Troubleshooting is a crucial part of vulnerability scanning. Don't be afraid to consult online resources, forums, and communities for help. Remember, even the most experienced professionals rely on collaboration and knowledge sharing.